So a quick podcast today to very um, briefly show you how to uh, uh, add a your Facebook feed through Tint to your Weebly blog. Uh, so first of all, we're going to log into a few places. Presuming that you're already logged into uh, Facebook, uh, that's one of the places you need to be. Um, Tint up is here, and we're going to log in. using uh, this email and your password. We're also going to go to the blog. Nope, wrong. We're not going to go to the blog. We're going to go to Ruby. Okay, we're going to log you in there. So here with the tints, um, I, I have already uh, got uh, the Facebook tint uh, formatted for you there. And we'll go ahead and edit it to show you how to change the options. So right now this is the basics of how it looks. I'm going to personalize it. And we can choose a background. Like uh, here I have this beige sort of background. You could use black or you could use uh, something a little more subtle. Whichever you choose. I chose this one for whatever purpose. You can go ahead and make changes you like. Fonts, we have limited uh, selection of fonts as I mentioned. Arial is big. It uh, takes the headlines and makes them ginormous so that if you uh, write a long textual uh, post like that, you can see it just scrolls down and down and down. So for that reason I chose, uh, well, you can look at, for example, look at Nimbus is a little different. The Gothic is different again, kind of hard to read. Zero Sense is another big one. And uh, for this reason, I chose Tondale, where you can make any choice that you like. Um, so I chose that uh, information there. So there's a personalized. Now I'll show you how to embed it into your page. Show me how to select Weebly, which is uh, where, where we are now over here. We're going to go to Edit Your Weebies, your Weebly Site. And uh, <clears throat> I have a page right now. Well, let's, let's pick the home page just for example. Uh, there's your home page with this large blocks, a block of uh, text in there right now. In the uh, tint, let's just uh, let's just make a uh, one that's very wide. So, well, let's just stick with the 800. And height, let's go 400. So it's not to be too big. And you know, let's even go four columns here. Preview that and see what it what might look like a minute on your page. And so there it is. It's uh it, it scrolls within its box there. And uh that's not, not too hard to read, that might be interesting. So let's just uh let's just uh, generate the code for that. We'll copy the code. We'll go over to your Weebly site and we'll uh uh, click the more button and custom HTML. We will drag that down. Uh, well, let's, let's drag that down into here. So now we've got, uh, we now we've got down. We're going to put the custom HTML in there. We're going to paste it. We're going to align it center. And now uh, this is how it might uh, look. Let's just pick that. That's how it might look on your main page. Um, again, as you have mentioned, it's, it's way down on the page and you might not want it there. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, change this back here. We'll just delete that element out of there for now. It's showing you how to insert and delete. Uh, have a look at another page that I've put your Ruby feed onto. Um, I put it on the content test page, edit that. No, I don't. It wasn't the contact us page, sorry. It was on the about us page. About us right there. Edit the page. And in this instance, 
Oh, and thanks for putting a nicer picture in there. That's lovely. Um, I put it as a, a sidebar. So what we did there was on the tip panel, we did a narrower width. I think it was maybe 250 or something like that. And height might have been 800. And it would have been one column. So to preview that, this is how it would look. It sort of looks like that on the page. Uh, again, scrollable within its own box. And uh, so that's where we, we generate that. Generate that, copy that. Go to your movie site. And there it is there. Now how we entered that was, and I'll maybe put another one in there. Custom HTML, we'll drag a custom HTML element down over here. And click to set the HTML. Paste the HTML in there. Click anywhere outside of that box. And now the feed will appear in there. Now you can see that it's inappropriately narrow and tall. So let's just go ahead and delete that element. Go back over here and set our wider widths, say uh, 900, big wide one. Height, well, only 400. Columns, let's say, oh, no, no, let's put four columns in there. Could be that. And this is what it might look like embedded on the page. So that's a little more interesting uh, for the location where it might go. Let's generate the code, copy the code. More element, custom HTML element, down there. Click the paste. It is centered and so it's more appropriately wide and uh, it shows a lot of stuff in the scroll down within the box. So that kind of shows you about uh, how to place an element and uh, so on like that. We'll delete that. Don't need it, don't want it. And uh, so here's sidebar that uh, as I put it in there before you may want to change that you may want to change that to uh, to the same width and height but uh, but uh, maybe two columns instead to add a little more content I'm not sure what you want to do exactly but that's a, an option for you uh, down on the blog page um, it's a little narrower uh, because you only have a certain width over here It's taking so long to load. There it goes finally. So uh, again, it's narrow. I couldn't make it any any wider than that because uh, of the uh, the width of your sidebar is limited uh, by the width of your regular postings. Sorry, accidentally hit a picture. Uh, so those are the basics of it, um, uh, how to uh, edit your tint panel, um, how do you make the choices, let's go back to personalizing, once again, just to summarize. Personalize, here is where you'll check the, uh, the, the background, the font, uh, and so on. Uh, then once you've, uh, once you've done that, uh, you go to embed it you how to embed it, click Weebly, which we've done. And here's where you select your width and height and column number. You can preview it, you can generate the code. Once you've generated the code, then you're going to copy code, go to your Weebly site, and uh, how to put code in is to click more, custom HTML, and drag a custom HTML box wherever it is you want to put it. 
then paste the code back in there. So those are the basics of it, and I hope that helps you figure it out. And um, let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Okay, bye.